Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and here is the first question in double-stranded RNA molecule, 10,000 base pairs, the approximate number of complete turns is and you have to choose the correct answer. First of all, uh, what may be confusing here is that uh, we are told that we have double-stranded RNA and everyone knows that uh, RNA usually single-stranded or if it is double-stranded usually it makes uh, such structures like this and this is a representation how uh, tRNA looks like and uh, it is of course would be very hard to say how many turns we would see here because we would uh, see uh, some uh, fragments here that is going to be double stranded and we also would see here some fragments uh, that doesn't have base pairing and would form loops but where we also can find uh, double stranded RNA and we can find double stranded RNA in viruses viruses uh, DNA can be uh, double stranded DNA single stranded DNA uh, can be double-stranded RNA and single-stranded RNA also uh, which strand can be positive and negative so in our example of this problem we have double-stranded RNA so this is uh, viral uh, RNA and uh, it looks like a normal DNA strand and every uh, 10 basis it would make one turn of uh, 360 degrees so for example on this fragment we have one turn second turn third turn and fourth turn every 10 basis in literature you may find information that uh, between 10 and 10.5 basis so uh, as you see, because all the answers are uh, rounded numbers, so we can suggest that uh, this problem uh, assumes that uh, one 360 degree turn is made by ten every 10 uh, base pairs. So basically we have to divide 10,000 by 10 and our answer would be 1000 and this is answer C so uh, in such a fragment that consists of uh, 10,000 base pairs we should expect that uh, double-stranded RNA would make 1000 turns and next question for a species with deployed number of 18 chromosomes how many chromosomes will be present in the somatic nuclei of the individuals that are tetraploid. So first of all, let's um, talk about um, terminology. So we may have one set of chromosomes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, uh, so far, I know about some species that uh, octoploid. So, uh, terminology would be as follows. Uh, this can be monoploid, this would be diploid, triploid, tetraploid, pentaploid, hexaploid, heptaploid, octoploid, nonoploid, and decaploid. And... Um, all these names are derived from the Greek language except uh, nona, which derived from the Latin. You probably already know all these names from your chemistry course. If not, uh, when you study genetics, you should know these names because uh, there can be problems uh, which defines uh, ploidy level by the Greek names. So we are told that uh, in diploid organism, so this is going to be diploid, uh, number of chromosomes would be 18.
so how many uh, chromosomes we would find in um, haploid in haploid we would find nine chromosomes by the way uh, haploid and monoploid is not the same i will explain you later so in triploid we would find uh, 18 plus 9 uh, we would find 27 chromosomes and in tetraploid we would find 36 chromosomes and this is going to be our answer answer c and now i'm going to explain the difference between uh, haploid and monoploid is it uh, the same or is it different so uh, imagine that um, we have a plant and plant has uh, 18 chromosomes it is diploid so every uh, chromosome is present in two copies so nine unique uh, copies uh, so basically nine multiplied by two this is what we would find in diploid so d stands for two and uh, haploid number would be nine and also nine would be uh, monoploid number but let's now uh, assume that we have tetraploid plant uh, basically that means that each chromosome is present in four copies for example we humans are diploid and we have uh, chromosome number one in two copies chromosome number two in two copies chromosome number three in two copies and so on but this plant is tetraploid so it has chromosome number one in four copies chromosome number two in four copies and so on so what would be haploid number if we would have uh, 36 chromosomes and haploid number would be 18 so each gamete of this plant would have 18 chromosomes two chromosomes from each tetra uh, chromosome and what would be monoploid number of this plant and monoploid number would be nine so total number of unique chromosomes would be nine so now you see that uh, in diploid organism uh, monoploid and haploid would be the same number but if we would have uh, for example organism that is tetraploid haploid number and monoploid number would be different numbers and of course this is also true for organism that is going to be hexaploid and uh, for example octaploid and decaploid and as you see I do not uh, underline uh, those that is triploid, pentaploid or uh, heptaploid because uh, we cannot divide these numbers by two I mean uh, in order to get discrete numbers and uh, that means that such plants and we can find uh, such a higher ploidy level only in plants uh, not in uh, animals or uh, humans and uh, of course that means that we cannot get haploid number that's why um, plants that is triploid don't have seeds so all the fruits that you normally find seeds inside but sometimes you may see seedless watermelon seedless um, say banana seedless uh, pears and many many other fruits uh, those um, fruits and those uh, plants uh, usually are triploid or pentaploid that's why they do not produce uh, seeds in their fruits but such plants still would have monoploid number those they wouldn't be able to have haploid number they still would have monoploid number I hope my explanation were clear enough. Now you would know the difference between uh, monoploid and haploid and would be able uh, easily to solve uh, analogous problems about uh, ploidy level. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. 
and see you in the next video. Goodbye.